The light phone is a phone that actually respects you. But do you know what it doesn't respect? Deadlines! Oh shit! Isn't that right, Jolly, huh? Because the last time I checked at the podcast tool, it was a little bit over January, was it, Joe, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. These guys are amazing. And here's why. I, the doofus that I am, ordered the wrong model. And I wrote them, hey, I'm in Europe and I ordered the American model. Can you do something about that? Two days before, they would ship me the phone. And they instantly replied with, yeah, I just changed your order. You're good, bro. And this is the reason why the Light Phone support team will have my loyalty till the day I'll die, mother. So the phone is basically every minimalist dream. It is so small that I don't even notice it while carrying it in my pockets. And with just one press of the menu button, the Light Phone displays a short list of applications which are called tools and hold all the functionality of the Light Phone inside them. These tools are obviously super simplistic as well and can be added and removed via the custom website called the Light Phone Dashboard. Of course, the basic functionality of the phone is making calls and sending text messages, but there are also some hidden features in the settings like making a mobile hotspot or inverting the contrast on the display. Which brings me to the coolest feature of this phone in my opinion, the e-ink display. Not only does it look like a science fiction prop out of a movie, it also is incredibly energy efficient. Which means that it only uses the light phone's battery if it has to refresh the display. Also the e-ink display is a passive one. Meaning, the more light is in the room, the better you'll be able to see the actual screen. But it comes at the cost of a lower refresh rate, which makes things like scrolling and texting a little bit tedious on the light phone. Tools like the alarm clock or the calculator do what they're supposed to and are super simple to use. But the most complex one till this date, again, is the podcast player, which actually inspired me to make this video. And I think the reason why this tool was so highly anticipated by a lot of Lightphone users was because it is that little bit of entertainment you get that is so prohibitively avoided in the rest of the phone. And here the dashboard is also used to add podcasts to your phone. You can use either the headphone jack or the Bluetooth function of the phone to listen to the podcasts with your headphones. And as you can see here, the light phone had no problems connecting to my Sony Bluetooth headphones. Another thing I've kind of noticed is that it is possible for dust particles to enter the phone through the ports and to get behind the screen. Uh, personally, for me, that's a big issue. It really bothers me when stuff like this happens. So I bought uh, dust plugs from Amazon, uh, one for the auxiliary port and also one for the micro USB port. If you want to do the same, I put the link to these products into the description and yeah. But now to my final question, why would you use a phone like this? I mean, I bought the light phone in hopes of increasing my productivity. I wanted a phone that could help me uh, go through with my work without being distracting. Because oftentimes having all this entertainment and all these colorful distractions at an arm's reach is a really big temptation for a lot of us. A friend of mine described that as the color rush effect. And that was actually the reason why he set his iPhone screen to just black and white. Because he said that it would make the phone less fun to use for him. And therefore he would use it less often. And that made perfect sense to me. But I also know that the light phone isn't for everybody. 
Heck, I don't even know if it's the right phone for me. All I know is that I want to make that change. That when I'm in a creative process and working on something that's important to me, I want an environment that helps me with that. And after all, the Lightphone is a phone that actually respects you.